hey everyone welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to learn very important java 8 interview question how to group employees okay by department using one of the function available in java stream api collectors dot grouping by it's very very important lot of problems we can solve using this method guys okay this is definitely mandatory to know java developers why because in real world projects we will use here by end of this video how to use grouping by in java streams how to efficiently group in data collection and as well as and one more small topic called counting employees per department also we are going to discuss here guys if you find if you found this video is helpful i am expecting each and every person okay who are watching this video please give a thumbs up in the comment by uh, comment box guys so that we will get to know how many of you are watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel as well and alternatively uh, guys uh, till now whatever questions we are uploaded java 8 coding challenges lot of people are asking where is the link for coding problems okay once you open java express there is a playlist option see there is a view full playlist here all java 8 coding questions we are keeping under this module here and as well as whenever we uploaded a video okay and if you are able to see there is a telegram group link if you click here it will open automatically for your telegram group as well java express official join in this group for immediate notifications as well guys okay now let understand the problem statement then we can discuss go ahead here um let's understand like uh, imagine you have a company okay suppose uh, uh, philips company ibm company inside a company employees are working now you are a java developer another one guy a python developer another one is a react developer right and you are all under programming a technology group now in your company it employees i mean to say it department will be there hr department finance department like a number of departments also we have in a company right now each department has a employees even it department also employees are there and technology department department also employees also will be there our main goal is we need to group all employees based on the department like in it what are the um, uh, how many employees are there what are the employee names like department wise we need to divide that is the problem statement here now like uh, another example like in a classroom okay uh, where students are dividing into different sections based on the grade a grade b grade c grade based on the grades we need to divide the students as well similarly same fashion we need to divide employees into a department here okay that is our problem statement we'll start our implementation okay now let me jump into uh, uh, our video now what we can do our project coding questions i am creating a package okay uh, for understanding grouping by it's very important that's why i'm creating as a another class here here what i'm doing i am creating simple java class here employee okay i'm creating employee class this employee has it two attributes we have what are the two attributes number one string name employee employee name private string <coughs> department we have a two things we have guys okay two attributes we have now let uh, i need a constructor and the setter and getter methods as well let me create a uh, constructor using the fields okay and then i need a getter methods as well only getter methods are sufficient here generate now our employee class is ready now okay now the second step is we need to group employees by department for that i need to create one test class okay now grouping example here i am creating one class okay inside this class what i will do we need to create a multiple employees here okay now arrays dot as list i can create multiple employees new 
employee you can provide employee name and department here maybe alice this is called a it department here and we'll try to create a number of employees so that it will be easy here okay bob okay hr department okay hr department now in this way we can create the employees as well now let me try to create a duplicate as well now what i can say uh okay yeah, okay now let me not the semicolon uh, let me provide it to here now how many employees we have we have totally four employees now instead of alice okay uh john and this guy uh, any any name just you can provide okay? uh david okay and technology departments also i will be create guys so that it will be easy for us mm, okay now uh, raman and this is guy from technology department here some kind of departments yes i created here now this is a list of information now we have a employees data we have employees information okay now inside this employees information we have grouping by stream i want to convert into a stream now this list into if you want to convert into a stream of data inside a stream we have a collect method inside method we have a collectors method simple grouping by that's it by using a method reference by using a employee object on which uh, we need to group department here okay grouping by helpful group employees based on their department here that is the understanding concept here guys okay uh, now what i can do then once this is ready how what is the written type here if you see this is your key right now this is your key here now this key represents it hr technology now it have a number of employees are available so even our written type can be the same see here now we can say employees by department here now if you see try to granularly verify now see here now by using enhanced for loop i can print my data now see here employees department for each now how many attributes we have first attribute is the department second attribute is the list object here employee list object now by using here i can print my data as well system dot out dot print ln now what bit is the department name then i need to prepare the employee list as well that's it simple now just verify here guys in interview room they are asking to write this statement guys you should be aware what is grouping by it's very simple and dead easy guys but in interview it's very very important for us now okay i need to uh, write um, two string method here so that i can easily two string method i want to create generate okay now let me run this application right click run as java application here now verify here technology department this employee hr department this employee it department this employee here okay here stream represents converting list into stream grouping by represents group employees based on the department and for each loop means printing our data here clear Ah, uh, now next step is what we can do. Uh, will will enhance. Now what we can do? I need to count employees per department. Counting count required. I don't want employee list. IT department ten people. HR department two people. Technology department one guy. Like this, I need the data. How we can do? simple and straightforward see here again employees dot stream collect but collectors dot to list inside here what we can do oh sorry it's not to list collectors dot grouping by here you need a count grouping by already lot of problems we solve now see here previously 
we used only one function that's it that means whatever we have like a department now see here collector function collector function supplier collector function previously we used this method now i want to use this method now see here now just have a look here how to use okay and here what is the first step first employee okay on which, what basis department basis then we have a method called collectors dot counting now you will get the count if you see the return type this is a string and this is for your number of employees here that's it now control one is a shortcut where you have a, able to see the data system dot out dot print and collect method now you can able to see java application now see technology one employee hr departments two employees it department two employees here okay that's it so we successfully grouped employees by department and also counting employees per department because this is very common java 8 interview question widely used in the real world applications like a reporting analytics and data processing guys if you found this video is helpful to you please give a thumbs up symbol guys don't forget to subscribe our channel guys okay thank you see you in the next lecture